Going to the set of uh, Grown Ups 2 is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. Let's not mess this up. Awkward cut. Good morning, Shen Shanners and possibly Shen Shaders. I'm on a bus. Yeah, I'm on a bus. Look at me, I'm on a bus. I didn't say any of the swears in that parody of that really bad parody, but still. <laughs> so I don't remember exactly the last time I was on a school bus like this. The last time I was on a school bus was the children's theater production of Leprechaun Stories and such, uh, where we took the uh, short bus. Yeah. I'm awful. That's the last time I was on like, a school bus like thing because my town uses um, the public transportation to get to school. Although, I believe next year we're switching to the school bus system because the town does not want to pay the coast bus to uh, shuttle us to and from school anymore. So, that sucks. Because we have like an hour to kill before um, we have to be at the Grown Ups 2 set and uh, it's raining, we want to wait out the rain um, before we get to the set, uh, we decided to stop off at Dunkin' Donuts. And I got what I usually get, a caramel coffee colada and a coffee cake muffin. There's a lot of C's in that order. Woo! We're here at the set. Well, the entrance to the set. I'm not sure I'll be able to film on the set. We'll see. Okay, way over there is the top of a temporary sound stage that they built just for this movie. Um, it's going to be taken down in several months and it'll look as if nothing was ever there. Okay, that was, I'm going to quote Hi Met Your Mother here, legend, wait for it, dairy. Anyways, um, uh, yeah, we, um, what? I don't care. I don't care if I'm backlit, okay? Anyways, um, we met the head of, like, almost every single department. Um, we even kind of got to talk to David Spade for a little bit, and uh, we talked to the prop guy, and uh, I actually got a picture of me holding the remote, or one of the remotes, from Click. I will put those pictures in now. Unfortunately, any other picture I took on the set, I cannot post anywhere until Grown Ups 2 is released. So I will let you know when that is, and I will mention it when I post it and such. So I did not get back in time to have lunch in the dining hall. Uh, so they let us go back and get changed and uh, they're ordering us some pizza. So we're gonna have a pizza party and then get back to class and somehow find a way to make up the four or so hours that we missed by going to this awesome experience. When I say make up, uh, because we have only like six days for each session, and uh, we need all the time we can get, but this other experience we went to this morning was way more important than our class time, arguably. Uh, so we're gonna have to make up the four hours at some other time so we have the right amount of time to make our things this session. So we screened our final projects because today, after going to the Grown Ups uh, 2 set, we um, started our new workshops for the third and final session. I'm in a studio production um, for TV, TV studio production. We're basically, first we're going to um, do like a fake interview with uh, three cameras, three different cameras to change between. And uh, lucky me, I get to be the director first. Yay! Sarcastic. Anyways, I looked at the times on Fandango. Uh, there is no um, RPX times that are still attainable, but I don't need to pay the extra money to see it in RPX. It'll be perfectly fine in regular D um, and a lot cheaper. So 
I'm going at 7.05, so I need to head to the movie theater. Upon request of my mom, I'm going to uh, show the movie theater place. She wants me to show the place that I'm at instead of just me inside them, so movie theater. I just realized this movie theater is um, Unlucky 13. It's kind of funny. Surprised nothing unlucky has happened in here. I mean, I'm not superstitious, but you never know. So it was uh, slightly raining, which is okay. I'm thirsty, I can just drink the rain water. A lot cheaper than buying some water. Uh, anyways, uh, Batman, uh, The Dark Knight Rises. Amazing movie. <sighs> Blew my mind. Spoiler alert, Batman and Bruce Wayne are in it. <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, it was a really great movie. A lot of good superhero movies are coming out. We had the Avengers, we have Spider-Man, and uh, now The Dark Knight Rises. Though, be it the first two I listed were Marvel, and uh, the third one, Batman is DC, they're still superhero movies, and they're really, really amazing superhero movies. You really learn to appreciate movies when you learn how to make them, or yeah, that's it. That's what I want to say. Um, also, I was the last one leaving the movie theater. Okay, um, I'm saying this now because I just realized I forgot to do this last night. After the dark night rises, so it's kind of odd saying this at this time. Um, but good night, whoever is watching this see you tomorrow. Well, I won't see you, but you will see me. And I really gotta get better at saying that thing at night. There's a vlog on the web featuring Ben Stock that he shoots every day as he walks and talks. If you're Bigfoot in the woods or producers in LA, you should stop all your shit and watch Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Has nothing to do with Florida, but it's great. If you can't wait, don't get irate. Just stay in your sheet, cause it's sunshine well, shade. I won't see you, you will see me.